Emil. How you doing, Emil? You know, pretty okay. I, I did pretty okay against Apollo, despite the fact that I don't even have melee anymore. What's up with that, man? Uh, I left my GameCube at Jeremy's house, in this, well, Jeremy's apartment in the city, in like January or February, and I just haven't had time to get it. The classic. So, yeah. The classic. So, yeah, I, I haven't owned melee in like half a year. So here we have um, Zelen versus Concussed. We're getting really early into it, so thankfully none of us uh, is talking here. Should affect us too much. But, uh, yeah. Zelen. Interesting. He's looking fairly solid. Um, That's a good read from Concussed. Mm -hmm. Saw that he was going for a lot of the back airs to try and contest, so he just went for the the forward smash. Yeah, he really used his drift to bait him into, like, yeah. uh, pull back, like, right at the end, the end of it. Mm. 
I think he's going for these up airs a little too much. Oh, uh, who would you say? Maybe. I, uh... I don't think he's going for too much up airs, but the kind he's going for is, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's a good up air, but... It's all percent on that, too. Like, technically in that, that kind of position, you're supposed to get like 25% with lasers, but he did the down B from so high. So right. you, had to make a, you had to make a call. <laughs> like, what percent it would be. 22% solid. Got the grab off. I feel like it could have been an up smash, maybe, or something. Yeah, could, maybe. I, I like the more guaranteed percent there. Jigglypuffs are really good if you give them the time to, like, yeah. like out of rest. They, they really think about what you're going to do, what your best options are in that position. You know, so just hit them with the up smash sometimes. I, that's what I like to do at least. Leffen goes for the up tilt, right? Uh, he does like laser turn around up tilt. I think so. The so Leffen is really good at using the up tilt. But the, what's scary about it is when you're fighting those really high level puffs, they can tech it and like they can tech up tilt. Yeah. What? Yeah, like up tilt and up air. Um, up air I knew about. Yeah, they do like. Crazy SDI or ASDI or some shit. I, I don't know what puffs have to do for that, but I know that they can do it, and I'm scared of it. Now. <laughs> and uh, Leffen is really good at like, because you do have the time as Fox to you know deal with what comes after the up tilt. But yeah, it's just not a game I've played enough. All right, I like this. Puffs got her back turned. That's where she wants to be. I'm liking the adaptations coming out of both of them, really, actually. Or I should say, I like how Concussed was playing earlier, and I'm liking how Zelen is adapting to it. I'm, I'm yeah. curious as to how Concussed is gonna bring it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know Zelen, um, but that's that's always a good sign, is if you can keep up with the patience of a puff. It's, it's, it's not easy, you know. It looked like he had to work his patience up. He had to work up the patience meter a little bit. Had to get smacked a couple times. Some people were like that. He looked like he was going a little too hard at first. Um, I think you were definitely right. Well, no, you were talking about concussed, but I was also seeing a lot of like Randy up smashes and up airs out of him that weren't necessarily the wisest. Ooh. Is what I'll say. I actually uh, like that pressure a lot from Zelen right there. Yeah, it was excellent pressure. Because even if the up smash doesn't hit, you know, you just force the puff to roll and you're probably not going to get punished for it. I would have liked a reverse nair in that situation. You get a grab afterwards. Ooh. I, I kind of want to see him go for a little more lasers. Like, he, he got the back air on puff where he couldn't really do anything after. But he could have just like turned around and jumped and got some laser damage. Every time he's abused lasers, he's he's kind of gotten something for it, and that was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I, I I love that kind of like falling up air call out. Mm -hmm. On some level, it feels like the the fox rest. I what, like lasers? I know it isn't. Huh? Oh, like just like a falling up air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you have to make such a hard call out, you put yourself in a scary position. Um, you're not really protecting yourself in the horizontal plane, and that's where Puff is yeah. kind of strongest. Um, you know, all those things. And when you get it off, you can get a lot for it. At low percent, you can get like decent combos off of it here, like that. At high percent, it'll kill. So one thing I noticed uh, from last game is concussed. Well, I, I this really. Both of them. Uh, Zelen was... Okay, I was just going to say, so Concussed didn't really get too many edge guards, which means Zelen was doing a pretty good job of either staying on stage or just giving Concussed a hard time of reading his oof, recovery. <laughs> that was real rough. But yeah, I think, you, I think you're right. You know, I'm playing it back in my head. I feel like there was a lot of missed edge guards that uh, Concussed could have got. I feel like that's generally his like weaker point when people have uh, a more variable, like heavy mix-up recovery. He kind of struggles. Right. And that's that's like one of the things people always talk about with HBox too. It's where it's like a fucking how good his edge guards are. Not just that, like how he always makes the right call. Oh yeah. Because on some level you have to make a read. And yeah. It's like insane. I think it's it's really about uh, reading the flow of the situation, knowing the patterns that foxes take when yeah, they I mean, fall and shit like that. Yeah, after 
playing Puff for what, like over ten years? Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, of course. I'm just, I'm just trying to vocalize it. You oh know? yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, I didn't realize he was at his last stock. But yeah, thirty-five this, percent. This has been a rough game for Zelen. Got rested twice, uh, edge guarded. <laughs> real, real early into some stocks too. Like Earth. his second stock, he fell down into a rest immediately. Yeah. I like to think of that as the the, the PB rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always always remember the one where. And in this situation, you just gotta think to yourself like, don't don't think about like, oh man, I got destroyed that game. It's like, okay, well, I won game one. You know, I, I still have my counter pick. I, I, I like to say to him. myself, this is what we won game one for. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. Like I, I don't go into game two. Like I go into every game. Like all right, time to time to give this person the hands. They're about to lose. You know, pumping myself up with all that noise. But uh, when I do lose, you know, it's, it's about keeping oh. the positive mentality, too. And he got the... Early rest. The eyed up for it, too. Yeah. All right, he's... Zellin's being too aggressive again. It's, it's hard to accept death, you know? No, for sure. Because <laughs> that's kind of what you have to do. You have to be like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to die. I have to die here. But at least with this new life... I will make something. Yeah. He's he's thinking about it in a way like, oh, I'm down so much, you know, I have to be overly aggressive, I think. Okay, but that was a good dash dance. I think he's just thinking aggressive. I don't think he's thinking overly, but... <laughs> I don't think it's working any <laughs> nonetheless, right? He's focusing too much on the, the kill here. Yeah. I, so when you get puffed to those kind of percents, what what I feel like Leffen does that's that's better than you know all of us measly other foxes. Right. Is he's like, all right, what's what's the condition that'll get me the kill hit? And he'll get like a jab into something or like a yeah. dare that'll follow up into something. He's not. Armada Fox did that too a lot. Yeah. Like yes, he's still making those hard read up smashes. They're still there. It's still you know. Yeah. Because you kind of have to. You have to make those call outs yeah. on both sides, both Puff and Fox. You have to make a lot of calls in this But he's not just like hard read up smash, hard read up smash, hard read up smash. Yeah. It's it's never it's never like he becomes desperate. Yeah. Um. But I guess that's like a, a trait of like like the Leffen style, right? Where. He never jumps out the corner either. He fights his way out, that yeah. kind of stuff. But bringing it back. Oh. Yeah, missing those techs on back airs is so rough. Oh, it was not his last start. No, <laughs> I, the camera like is, is blocking the stocks oh, okay. for me right there. Yeah, no, no, it's two to one now. Oh, that was an up air. Yeah, I like. It was I a mean, scary up air, but yeah. It, it, this is a jab. The jab was there to like keep himself safe, but. Oh. That was just a misinput on his controller. The jab turn around up smash. Okay. He's trying to throw a lot of like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's throwing a lot of like uh, uh, Ze Zetlin that is a lot of like weird, crazy dash dancing into the mix now. You know, it's it's not exactly, I want to say PP dashing. He's like doing a lot of weird things too, other than that. Um, he's really just trying to confuse, I think, and cost on where yeah. he's going to come, be coming from. Like, of course, that's the point of dash dancing, but he's, like, really falling into it right now. Uh, it's working. Yeah. You know? Let's see, yeah, 19%. It's a pretty it's a pretty decent comeback. But, but I've, what have we been seeing, I think, out of Concussed um, to, like, counter it is just, like, full list, full bag, or just, like, standing in place, making the call oh, out. Oh, wow. That oh, was dang. a lot of percent. It's the second press, I think. Yeah, I think Kikas is for sure feeling pressured right now. Oh, yeah, I think he has the pressure on him a little bit. Right? He, he wants the rest. That's that's what he's looking for right now. You think so? Oh yeah, at this percent. I'd be looking for the the combo into kill or something. Well, I mean, yeah, rest. 
Like, I guess, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. see? Rough. There it is. Good shit to concuss, though. Yeah. He's getting a lot of shoe grabs in there. A lot yeah. of just, like, uh, stand in place, like, All right. really calling both... out when, when, uh, I can't remember his name, but whenever he was coming in, yeah. really calling it out. Anyway, yeah. we got, we both got sets, yeah, so. Yeah, we both got sets. All right, see ya.
white people problems. You know what the biggest white person problem is? The sun. That just kills y'all, right? I got sun poisoning at Lake Compounds. I don't even know what that means. Like, I was sick from the sun. No, it like advanced sunburn. Oh, okay, we're just chasing. <laughs> we're talking about how much we hate people who hold up right. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Where's Wolf? Where's anything? See it. Oh. For some reason, I thought you were talking about Counter Strike. I thought you were talking about Counter Strike for a second. Yeah. Like, I think you like...
contest. Two, 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 two
Actually, gonna be a pretty good set, best of five, I'm pretty sure. Uh, some of the sickest players we have here, so let's see how it goes. Jason, an aficionado at uh, the tech chase. Uh, really, like that. That isn't all he is. Like he's really good at neutral too, but like, yo, once he has you in a tech chase and he's feeling the the whirlwind of it, 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 it feels like technical fucking um, Swedish delight, is what I'll say. Like how you know you, you have like the no hope again now? But as, I, as I talked about that, uh, they managed to bring it three stocks to a piece, so I should talk about what's actually happening. I don't even know how he got that grab. Oh! Right. Lately I've been really liking uh, seeing like the empty hop, the tomahawk uh, gentleman, or even just jabs. Uh, we saw it a little bit just there out of um, Apollo on the top stock, on the top platform. Really good at getting people out of like shield and just body for it. So one thing about this matchup I'll say is that you, you don't as Falcon, you, you don't want to be behind. It sucks. It's possible, but like you really want to be playing on either the same amount of stocks or higher. It's like that Peach thing. Just because Sheik is so good at just evaporating your stocks and keeping you like away from her. She can keep you away from her like as Falcon. Lots of your stuff gets started off with grabs in this matchup. The, the early percent, like, you know, nares and those kind of things can be a little risky sometimes. Um, you know, of course you can space things, but your opponent also has the option to screw with your spacing and stuff like that. So it's just, it can be very difficult to get in this talking with Sheik. And playing at a deficit just makes that worse. On top of an absolutely ludicrous punish game on the character, like, Sheik really destroys Valkyrie off of any hit. You have to be up on your SDI or uh, like regular DI, combo DI. <laughs> That's pretty good. There's a little flare there. Not all of that was necessary, but. He was in control the whole time, you know? So I feel I hear FD and Pokemon are like the stages to take Sheik to here in this matchup. Cause Sheik is really good on Battlefield too. Yeah. But Falcons sometimes this is like their lifeblood stage. So maybe he's just com um, feeling comfortable here. Maybe he's saving the counter pick. Nice reverse nair. 
I think reverse nair is one of the sexiest things you can do with Falcon. I think it's a sexier than a uh, reverse bear. So much hotter. Oh! Whew. Look at that, he really could have just held the ledge, but... Falcon is garbage when he's trying to recover, so he can do whatever he wants. Just throwing a little bit of that whack-em flare. Man, one of Apollo's biggest strengths is his, uh, his reading comprehension, I'll say. Really good at figuring out over time like where you like to go. Um, but this hasn't been the best for him. I feel like he's missed a lot of tech chases, lots of like reads uh, like right there. Jason has managed to really confuse him as to where he's gonna go. Like, yeah, no, look at all these. Jason is just always not getting hit <laughs> off of like he's getting he's getting him onto some knockdowns, but as Falcon, you gotta capitalize off those knockdowns. Oh. Nah. But like, you know, the thing is when you're fighting Sheik, character that's like like I said before, so capable of not letting you come in. And as Falcon, you're a momentum-based character. If you can't create your momentum, it, it's like how are you supposed to get the reading comprehension? Like, how are you supposed to to learn what they're gonna do off of the, the get up? Ooh, the fallen air. That's that shit I like. I'm such a sucker for fallen air. Even if it's cheap. Ball's gonna need to dig deep, take some dreamland. Trying to go for that space. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I'm seeing here? That's that's that M2K shit. That shit that nobody be doing to Falcons, using up tilts to fuck them. Like, like Sheik's are really good at bodying Falcons because Sheik is a good character versus Falcon, but I feel like they don't exploit all of, all of his like weaknesses. I'm seeing a little bit out of that, a little bit of that out of Jason. Like, Melee doesn't really, or I mean, I, I've never really heard Oki used in Melee, but, um, what I, I think Mewtwo King is really good at is keeping the pressure on a down Falcon with weird moves. So he just like... And I'm pretty sure that's what Anoki is. I don't fucking play in a fighting game, so... Suck this if, if I'm wrong, but... You know, like really pressuring his wake-up option. Um, and like messing with his DI, like... Mewtwo King was able to do a lot off of down throw versus Falcon that uh, other Sheiks just kind of uh, lacked. Oh. Firstly, coming out of Apollo. Just as quickly as it came, I guess. Oh, yo, that was. God fucking damn. There, yo, what, was that like. Alright, he's starting to move. I think this. <laughs> yo, Jason, stop it. That's the that's the fucking cactus. That's the cactus. You just stop moving. Fuck them. They don't they don't know where you're going. They're like they think you're gonna move forward. I think oh that's what's that's totally what's happening. Like Apollo is like hitting him on where he's moving after things. It's like I was talking about like Oki, but he was kind of using it himself. Now Jason's just standing there and it's like fucking like letting him really soaking in whatever it is that fucking the Falcons doing, you know. Throw out a bad nair, Mr. O cancel, I'm right here, I'm just standing here. PUNISH! Oh man. I'd have loved if they either, like, if anything hit there. Oh! <laughs> I don't think there's a name for that other than, like, the no life wave dash. Like, if you can hit it, you have, like, no life. People call it that. I can fucking hit that shit. No 
life. Oh. No. Oh, makes it back. Wow. Really beautiful, beautiful pivot jab. Paulo's really. What? Yo, he just went for that shit. He just, yo, he just went, yo, he just went for that shit, yo. I think that was on purpose. I, I believe. Too bad Yoshi's story is Garbo. She goes up because the platform is like right there, so she lands on it instead of you just being able to wave dash back around the ledge. Look at that, that's an abusive bleed, you know? Nice stuff out of Jason. Uh, I feel like at that percent, like, you, you have to start doing down throw follow-ups as Falcon. Um, I think up throw stops being, like, you know, guaranteed at 88. Um, you can get other things, you know, up air or something else. You know? But I, I, I think the down throw into something is really the option after these, uh, like, those higher percents there. Very optimal stuff there. And that was a really good stop. Like, to start it all. The first one, uh, not even the, the one on the edge guard. Oh no. Will he make it back? Oh, he does. Wow, Jason let it happen. Jason really wasn't expecting that knee to go in that direction. I don't blame him, because I wasn't either. Great recovery though, that must have been the slightest shit of all time. No no ordinary Sheik would have hit that shit. The angles on Sheik fucking up B is so actually a little bit slightly crazy for no reason. And I feel like it's difficult because you don't get the full line. So you, I don't know, it's like harder to form up the visual cue for yourself that you have done a a good sheep upbeat and they're always so situational it's, it's just over time you have to like really learn it wow oh man went for the stomp i feel like me was the option there maybe uh, even like a tipman up air and like he slides off re grab but nope that's it jason taking it 3-1 Ninja Sheik. All right, now we have Concussed Emil. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be Sheik Puff, but I don't know. Emil, Emil has like a plethora of characters, you know. He'd be whipping them out from time to time. Last time I was watching him play somebody with Peach, his Peach was starting to get pretty solid. I know he got that Marth on deck. He got the Sneak Fox. His Fox is, is low-key up there, you know, like, surprisingly good. So I wouldn't, I, I actually would not have any level of surprise inside of me if he busted out the, the Foxy McCliggs. Concuss been having a pretty Fox-centric bracket from what I've seen so far, but. All right, we got Cheek Puff now. Um, This is this is like the the matchup that's a uh, I think it, it's really received a lot of uh, reju rejuvenation in the past couple years. Um, not that cheeks really are even playing it anymore. It's just like you know the top level cheeks I want to say. But the you know when they were they they got they had some new sauce and they showed everybody. And I think people are really coming into that new sauce that old new sauce it's becoming a little bit of the meta some of the cheeks are pretty tight at this matchup um, they want to know if they're good they want to know if they're good 
They wanted to know if they were good. Alright, sorry no problem. Stage like by both of these characters, I think. Uh, it's gonna give Emil some opportunities to hit him through some platforms. Um, and, you know, generally speaking, you know, we, we will maybe see some kills off the top. Sheik's up air pretty strong. Um, her up smash also strong tool versus puff, especially versus rest. But, um... Yeah, I guess he was so close to the, the ledge there that down, down smash was the move to use there. That's definitely not what I thought was going to happen. Wow, great reverse bear up tilt. Okay. I'm showing a lot of aggression here. Actually, so surprised he's been going in a lot. Oh, crouch. One of the main reasons this matchup is so difficult for Sheik uh, is, you know, puff crouch. The, the TPP plate beat, I, I love, I, that's that's what I call that, I don't know what other people call it, but sometimes you'll just see like M2K fucking throw out an F smash, middle of nowhere, you're nowhere near him, you're like, oh, time to punish, and he, get, he just grabs you, or like hits you. Mango does it a little bit too, he, he used to up smash his fox, pretty, I think it's like, you know, pretty obvious in hindsight, but when you're playing it, it's a pretty effective strat sometimes, you know, if you manage to get a hard hitting move right outside the space in which someone can really punish you you have an option to you have sometimes you'll be given the opportunity to punish them trying to punish you because they just never had really the opportunity to in the first place <laughs> something similar like that I really like is like the Something you see out of Smucker sometimes is he'll, he'll drop down immediately from a Halo and side B. And the side, like, you know, you try to grab him, but he's still invincible at the end of the side B. <laughs> he gets up, he just fucking punishes you. Man, Emil holding this down. A little too slow on the... I feel like he should have not tried to hit him afterwards. If he just like landed there, um, was able to ledge cancel just the momentum of him landing, he could have grabbed the ledge I think a little fast, but who knows with floaties, um, I don't, well, floaties probably know, but I, I'm a fast DB. Good rest. Gets him with the double. Emil really, really should have gone for the ledge there. Uh -huh. Really surprised he didn't. Wow. Wow. That was... That was like four rests in a row to make a three-stop comeback. And it happened in like 20 seconds, bro. That's... That's some, uh... That's some play of the week shit right there. <laughs> oh, no. He's hitting him with the ice now. We're just full out abuse of, of Puff Crouch. I'm always doing really well earlier. I'm, I'm hoping you can capture a little bit of that back, but the momentum has been pretty, pretty strong in Gus's side for a little while now. Excellent evasion there. I like that Emily even went for that. I, I think that whole interaction was very interesting and good. Yeah, fair. I feel like that's uh, the way you're gonna get a lot of your kills in stream too. You have a lot, like uh, some weird options for kills as well. I think at this point, going for a grab isn't all that wise. Um, like most of his hits will kill. Yeah, I'm just 
hits him with the bear. He just hits him with the bear. He'll die. This is... After you get puffed to a certain percent, going for the hard hitting. Wow, that was insanity. Jesus, I'm ne He like, he like, sucked him in with the chain or some shit. He SDI'd the chain into res. This is, this is going fucking wild. What? It's becoming rest city. I feel like the macro neutral is is quite firmly in Emil's hands too. Like it, like even with all these losses, it's like he's holding macro. Lead, like he's playing the macro pretty tight, but he's not. He's not keeping himself safe the way he should or spacing. Wow. Okay. No, that was. Those were quite the options there. I thought it was an accident at first. It might have been still even, but I wouldn't have said it was. You know, those were some six up. Uh, right. Sure up. Really sure up up here. That killed a little bit earlier than I thought it would too. So maybe even a bit stronger of an option than I thought. Oh, show him paddlefield. Yeah. This is his grab. I think Emil really needs to accept how hard Concussed is uh, leaning into the crouch cancel game and just steal himself to deal with it, you know? Beautiful up air. Um, I'm wondering if 114 is like actually the kill percent for it, but looked like he went up a little faster than like the momentum from it. Probably would have killed him earlier. That looks like a like a thing that kills you know the, the one I want to say OE region. He's just going for these rests. I mean, I guess he won the games to earn him the ability to do so. And I'm always you know it's hard to punish Puff off of to rest. Not hard, but you, you don't get anything too meaty or substantive as a, a sheik. A kill percent, it's excellent, you know? You, you have your grab up there, you have your um, up here, or you grab down throw up there, you have your, you know, can hit him with air and stuff like that. I'm amazed I'm will actually went for that grab there. Like I said, when, when... It looks a little frustrating even. But when, I don't know, when Puff is going for that heavy crouching game, you really just need to accept that you, you, yeah, you, you have to play the complete outspacing game. It's far, uh, wow. I actually have no idea how many rests were hit that entire set. I feel like more than 12. Man, that went a type of way, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, man. That just yeah. So, I mean, that seems like what happened. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we have Apollo versus Swivel. Yeah. So it's looking like a Fox Falcon set. Um, best of five. I don't really know who Swivel is, but decently far in, you know? I think this is uh, Loser's Quarters is for seventh? Or is it for fifth? I believe it's for fifth. Yeah, Apollo lost in seventh. So it's for fifth. Starting on FD. Typically, the stage, I want to say, like, start on in this matchup. Um, either this or like Yoshi's. It really depends on the Falcon. 
the point is you're not going to end up on a stage that you want to be fighting Fox on. Uh, Falcon loses the counter picks, like the stage counter picking game, even when he like chooses first. Um, great knee. But, you know, like a lot of people say, FD is not bad if you can just tech chase somebody to death, and it gives you so much stage to do so. Um, Apollo not the most tech chase heavy Falcon, though. Like, sure, I'm positive he's capable, any Falcon where some salt is, but... Um, it's, it's not the game plan he's normally going for, you know? He's trying to get you with the hard hits, cover two options at once. He's stupid. Have a good night. Uh, I really do like the reverse up air. Been seeing it a lot, a lot more. I feel like uh, once once people saw its utility, um, I feel like S2J was showing it off. Shine, the shine where he beat me to gank. Um, the Falcons have been really using reverse up air to. Uh, Extend out some interesting combos, uh, create interesting situations, you know, get slide offs, that kind of thing. I'm sure Thomas Tipman would be proud. He's been playing a little bit on that play lately. Really not the strongest one, just coming out of Swivel. Uh, maybe just needs a little time to warm up. See the thought. Like FOD was the truth. Oh, Battlefield, interesting. Okay. Goes for the double up smash. I feel like charging that up smash really isn't worth it versus Falcon. Especially like NTSC. Um because you if you get like shine up smash on Falcon, um And you get him into fall, and he doesn't do like that armada, like at zero percent uh, immediate tech shit where he can grab you right afterwards. You have such an easy tech chase on him. Um, he has no decent wake up options. Like spot dodge, run away, uh, side B if they're trying to be fucking crafty. Like he, he can't, he can't do much on get up. So. I think you know you get him. You get him with the first up smash. He lands on the floor. You can just follow up with another up smash. That's where. That's how I started my mentality on that punish game, at least. Uh, yeah. Mostly, I feel like you just want to get Falcon on the ground and outspace him with nares. Uh, if he tries coming in too hard, you can hit him with up tilts. I'm really liking the placement on a lot of um, Apollo's moves, but I think he's also being a little overzealous, uh, going a little too hard sometimes. Swivel is showing he's not. I'm gonna just like let him dance around on a shield for free. I'd like to see maybe a little bit more safety. I don't want to see him stop doing the things that he's doing because it, it is working, especially when he has a punish going. Um, but we're seeing some overextensions in neutral that. I think that's the percent it kills Falcon too. Like for sure it did. Go smash. Oh. I think that uh Apollo was really expecting that spot dodge. But his problem was that he was uh I don't want to say scared, but like you, you didn't fully commit to it. You tried to pull him back way too hard. Alright, there. One one. And I mean, they both won on what would be considered each other's like counter picks. But um, I know for sure Apollo likes to pick Battlefield. He was on pick Battlefield last time versus Sheik. Yeah. Trying to take him to Dreamland. I think this might be his like two fall backstage. I'm not sure though. He can definitely, uh. 
I feel like going to Dreamland uh, really helped, like as soon as possible in a set, is uh, very beneficial to Apollo, almost personally as a player. I see him as someone who's just, uh, who needs the space to pick up the speed, um, but then once he picks up the speed, like, you know, once he, once the engines are going, like, it doesn't matter where you're fighting, you know, he knows how to move on every stage. But when you have more of an ability to combine them, you know, and, and you're doing so, he struggles to refine that momentum. Swivel getting that first stock. Oh. Drill loose. Didn't quite follow up. Apollo hoping for him to come in, just kind of like, I feel like there's been a lot of Apollo today, um, a lot of his juiciest punishes have been coming off of these really, um, he fakes like he's running back, jumps, keeps himself kind of in place, puts himself back to where he was, maybe spaces it a little depending on what's going on, and then he uh, throws out a stomp, and, you know, it hasn't always been hitting, uh, it's, relatively been, and I, I mean like this whole bracket, uh, he's relatively been like safe while doing it and shit, but it, it's getting him like me stuff. It's like where a lot of his, his kills have been coming from. Oh! A little bit more control out of Swivel would go a lot of ways. I think he, he could control, you know. His wave dash is out of shine a little bit better. That's just a work on your wave dashes in general kind of thing, though. Play a little Ganon, you know? Yeah, like, look at, the, look at the smoothness my boy Apollo's bringing to it. I, th I think that if Swivel... Because uh, he's getting these fucking amazing opening really. He's winning here, too, even, right? Like, so, but when he... Um, he hits a lot of, like, these, these shines that... It should just be leading to up smashes. You know? Should be leading to grabs. It should be leading to something. Shine Nair. You know? uh, when I think I'm gonna mess up, I just throw out a Shine Nair, like, keep myself safe, run away afterwards or some shit. Like, um, showing that he's capable of that shit too, but he mostly only does it in, in like actual punish as opposed to like you know hunting, tracking somebody down or when he's like, neutral. I think the where he mostly uses it is. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Uh, la 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 la. I guess offensively the word. Yeah, like he, he, he only uses it as like a mix up and, uh, and punish. Um, I think it's a, a little limiting in, in how he should be following up after, or how he could be following up. Oh, it takes that game. Kind of a nail biter, honestly. Uh, I feel like he got that in the last second. I don't even remember how he got it. it Might have been looking up their knee, but that kind of shit you just got to di hard away. Um, you can even you di hard away, and you can do. I think it's called tumble di. And that, that shit where you like mash the stick back and forth to get out of tumble that quick. Um, <laughs> almost at it. It was so close. Um, but yeah, you you do that. I can't remember what I was talking about, but yeah, tumble the eye. Oh yeah, yeah, a falcon like up throw into me. Um, you you generally have to di it away. I feel like after like fucking eighty percent or something, you should just be diing all falcon grabs away from him. Um, unless you're really confident in how you're about to mix him up. Um, and like a lot of falcons will be able to cover your di away with like some most falcons i will say can can't to actually cover uh the hard di away on up throw you know they, they're hot trash sorry i said it but it's true um and they just you just don't hit it um but for the falcons that that do they'll they'll go for that up throw run in late up air um Hell, I've even seen some able to get like a late knee, and I don't know if that's true or not, but 
what you can do uh, like to get out of there is, if it's true, if you if you don't do anything, if you just DI away, I mean. But if you tumble DI out, you can uh, get a jump out, jump backwards out of it. Avoid getting fucked. Nice ledge dash. And pretty solid corner pressure. Oh, good weight dash is back too, you know. Good weight, like all of this stuff was excellent until right now. All right, all right, all right. Cooking back in here. I uh, think he's grabbing ledge a little too early, but oh, you know, solid edge guards. Ooh. Nice going above him with that back air there. I feel like he would have had the option to continue falling down afterwards if uh, Apollo had an upbeat where he did. I think that, that like putting placing that where he did was very good option coverage. Going into game five now. Um, didn't know who Swivel was coming into this, but he's, he's, he's doing the damn thing, you know. Um, it's Apollo's counter pick. Huh? Uh, I think so. Nice SDI on that drill there. Apollo is a uh, very quick to react to jabs, both to his detriment and to his own, you know, like it's, it's, a, it's a positive thing too. Uh, there's a lot of people, you know, they, he, he gets jabbed where they would normally be able to get up smashes, he can get out. Uh, very in control of his SDI. Uh, so, but um, on the flip side of that, it makes it really easy to read a jump afterwards on him. Uh, lots of situations, you can kind of just read the fact that he's going to react to you. Like you can, you can uh, freak him out, basically, and get a jumping punish. Where he has no grab, where he has no uh, no second jump. Nice. Oh. Okay, up bear. I feel like reverse bear in that situation was the way to go. Um, momentum was really. It was gonna make Apollo want to hold in, and in that situation, you want to hit him with something that would have let you get a an up smash afterwards, or that kind of thing. I just feel like reverse bear, or like a soft reverse bear, or even even a hard reverse bear would have. Kind of worked better there, but uh, mostly fair. Fair up smash right there in that situation. Could have saved him the stock. Could have been ahead. That's the jab up smash. We still saw him di away like pretty hard. Um, he didn't jump this time, but we he uh, was able to get a pretty hard sdi away and swivel followed it this time around. I wonder if that was an adaptation. Kind of looked like it was. Good space backers. It's a hard knee. I think this is the stock. Swivel on his tournament stock. Really keeping the pressure on. That down smash, clearly an accident. I hope it doesn't cost him too much. The bad ledge dash. I believe I'm next, right? All right I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick.
응. 응. 타. 타. 응. 응. 트. 트. 네. 트. 박. 트. 박. 박. 네. 트. 네. 트. 박. 박. 파이어. 네. 트. 
Fox!
Mission complete.
Zelda! Donkey Kong! Zelda! Zelda!